welcome to Mr. Hill's science series of videos, the videos that will help you and your student understand the objectives, the learning objectives, and the concepts of science. Not only is science in the intermediate school, but science beyond. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at light, the brilliant life-giving light that comes from our favorite star, the sun. And in particular, we're gonna take a look at what that light does as it moves in a straight line and finally runs into something. It has two things it can do. And we're gonna take a look at those today. Shall we? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna take a look at with light is gonna be the law of reflection. Reflection is going to be something that a fifth grade student is going to need to understand. Not only will you need to understand this in fifth grade, but moving forward in all sciences, this is going to be a major concept to understand. It's really, really simple. All it's saying is that when light comes in and reflects off something that is reflective, it is going to bounce off we're going to use the word bounce, bounce off at the same angle that it came in on. So let's put this at about 40 degrees. So if it comes in at 40 degree angle, then it's going to bounce off at a 40 degree angle. If it comes in at a greater angle, let's say about 70, it's going to bounce off at 70. It's not going to turn and like make a different type of angle. It's going to come in and go off at the same angle. So let's imagine if it comes in at zero, no angle then I'm sure that you can imagine it's going to return at zero angle. So that's the first concept that your student needs to understand is that reflection is bouncing off at the same angle it came in on. Okay, the second thing we're gonna look at is light refraction. So the first one was reflection. The second one is refraction. So this is when light hits something that it doesn't reflect off of, such as water. And the students need to be able to describe what's happening with the light. So we have a light source up here. This is going to be considered just air. And then we're going to have water as our bottom substance. Now we're going to hit go. Our light's going to go through the air in a straight line until it hits that water. And then all of a sudden, we're going to have a bend. Now, if the students refer to this as a bend or break, that's, those are great words to use. It's not bouncing off at any same angle. It's actually breaking the light. Uh, this is going to be when, uh, if you're fishing, and a fish uh, is looks like it's going to be in a certain location, but it's actually a little bit over from where, where it is. The light is bending or moving the, the, the image. So once again, if the student can understand the concept that the light bends or breaks, that's going to be key to understanding this. Be untrue, you know that I would be a 